from one Blue Jays way in Toronto. Welcome to Rogers Center. We've got baseball coming up for Jackie Robinson Day. It's the New York Yankees and the Toronto Blue Jays. John Shambi alongside Chris Singleton. Chris, today a special day on the Major League Baseball calendar, Jackie Robinson Day. Everyone on the field wearing number 42 to honor Jackie and his breaking of the professional baseball color barrier in 1947 with the Brooklyn Dodgers. Well, Boog, it's a great day for everyone in terms of just the unity that it helped to bring forth within our country, and a lot of times that's done through sport. But for me, as a black player, when I think about Jackie Robinson and I think about the connection of such a great player and all of the adversity that he had to endure, baseball's hard enough just to play, but then everything sort of on the field, off the field, and how he persevered through that's so inspiring. First pitch coming at you right after the break. First pitch moments away and towing the slab in this one, Jose Barrios. He's had his ups and downs Leading in his career the as his ERA is just the over shortstop. four, but this is Anthony a guy that's not afraid. Holy. He's going to take the ball. He's going to go out there and give it his best. In the air right side. He won't get there. That should be extra bases. Into second easily with a leadoff double. Well, that started and ended pretty quickly. No messing around right there. When you connect and it jumps off your bat like that, you're thinking double at the very least. Put a great swing on it, and man, he wasn't fooled at all. Here's Juan Soto leading the AL in batting average. Top of the zone, and it's called a strike. Oh, one's the count. Not close with that one. And the count one and two. He's dealing with a great two strike hitter right here. The strikeout is not automatic. And that one hammered. That's going back. Back some more. And out of here. A gigantic blast. His fourth home run of the season. It's 2-0. He absolutely crushed that one. No doubt about that one, Boog. We knew it wasn't coming back. Just an excellent swing all the way around, and it had that sound coming off the bat that gets everyone's attention. Got a pitch to drive, short to the baseball, squared it up, and the backspin carried it out of here. And now big number 99, Aaron Judge. Just missed. Can be tough to bounce back after a big home run, but nobody on, nobody out. You just have to treat it as a fresh inning. Nobody out with a pair of runs across in the frame. You're in game one of this three-game set. Next oh, pitch is downstairs. Singy, maybe some nerves getting the best of him in the first? Well, it's hard to know exactly if it's nerves or not, but he just doesn't have it right now. Those hitters on the other side, they're going to say it's nerves and use that as a competitive edge to try to jump on him even more. And George makes the grab, and there's one down. And time now to check out the New York Yankees lineup. Batting second, a really important guy for them, Juan Soto. Well, he's an important part of this lineup for sure. I mean, there's no doubt about it, Boog. It's somebody that they try to feed off of. He does a lot of things, you know, very well up there at the plate. He's got a presence about him, and, you know, he's a guy that you really kind of like to watch swing the bat. And first offering is fouled off. One down, base is empty. Ripped to short. Whips it to first. Rizzo out of the play. That is big. The second base hit. Glaber. Here's Glaber Torres. He's hitting for that pop. Came out of the gates really strong. And there's a ball. Torres, multi-time All-Star, hitting fifth in today's lineup. He's been on a terrific run at the plate, hitting over 350 in his last 10. And a strike to Glaber. And that 
one a little bit high. And Three another balls, ball. One strike. And he walked him. Break the break. One of the things about that two out walk, the base runner over at first base is going to have a very aggressive secondary lead. So a ball down the line or into the gap will produce a two out RBI, and those are the best. That is if you are the offensive side of it. That one hit to right. Springer there makes the catch, and Verdugo is set down. And that is that two run blast for the Yankees this inning. It's now a 2 0 ball game. You're watching Yankees. And we're back, getting the nod on the mound, Nestor Cortez Jr. What do you have on him, Sagi? Yeah, ZRA last year was a little worse than average, so definitely be looking for Whoa, better results this out. season. You know, one of the keys is just being able to have a consistent delivery and to be able to repeat that delivery so you can hit the spots that you want to hit and have a higher chance of being successful. The pitch. Ball, down. That Three one balls, misses, one and a count is three and one. Well, after putting up a nice inning on offense, got some runs across, this is where you look for the starter to go out there, have a ah. shutdown inning. Don't give that other team yeah, any hope. Uh, you just hope that he can get through this inning, get the bats back up there while they're hot. Payoff pitch. Swing and a miss, struck him out. Well, he should get some fist bumps when he gets back into the dugout because even though he strikes out, he saw a lot of pitches and he battled. And this is a long haul where you're trying to get that pitch count up as early as possible. So gave the guys behind him an opportunity to see what's working for this pitcher or not. But I tell you what, it's a nice job right there. Foul ball. The wind of the pitch. That Two one misses, one and it's two and one. One out, base is empty. Fastball for a strike, and the count is two and two. Rex and misses, it's a strikeout. Well, anytime you can punch out the top two guys in a lineup to start an inning, you've got to be feeling pretty good out there on the mound because when you think of just having a distraction, table setters on the base paths, and all of a sudden you're dealing with the number three hitter, any distraction can cause you to serve up a cook. Ah, that ends the inning, so we take a break. All set for the start of the inning. Here's the third baseman, Oswaldo Cabrera. Cabrera. Here comes a pinch. And it's fouled away. The 0 1. Up the middle. And that one finds its way through. And the leadoff man aboard. Just kept it simple. Played Pepper with the middle of the infield and took it back where it came from. And there's just no one there to knock it down. Man at first, Austin Wells stepping in now for the Yankees. Swing, and that ball smashed on a line. Marsha calls it in, and there's one away. Now it's Trent Grisham to the plate. Grisham. Sharp grounder, that's through for a base hit. They get it in quickly, so first and second, now one out. Now batter, the shortstop, Anthony. Back to the top of the Yankee order. Now, Anthony Volpe. And a foul ball. Hitter's got some good opposite field power. What I like about something being hit to the right side into the outfield is that the base runner at second has a very good read and can determine whether or not he can score on that base hit. Swings through it, and that 
It's a strikeout. Really nice sequence with a quick strikeout right there. A couple of breaking balls to get ahead, 0-2. Then put the hard stuff by him for strike three. And I like that he didn't mess around. Sometimes guys, they like to get too cute. They waste a pitch here or there and then find themselves back into a hitter's count. But right there, he had him right where he wanted him and pitched him aggressively to get the strikeout. And now it's Juan Soto. Foul ball there. Cabrera, the lead runner at second. Grisham on at first with two down. And it's through for a hit. Throw in holds the lead runner at third. So it'll be bases loaded and two gone. Well, Singy, he is locked in there. Well, he's really slowed the game down. And it's like he's moving in full speed and everybody is a step or two behind. The way that he squared up that baseball tells me that he is seeing it like a beach ball. Now it's Aaron Judge up to the plate. No that one not close. Ball one. On the ground to the left, Bichette. Out He's to out. escape a bases loaded jam unscathed. Huge opportunity missed there. Now to the bottom of the second. It's the Yankees two and the Jays nothing. Ready to go for the last half of the inning. And now for the Jays, Vladimir Guerrero Jr. If you don't get ahead in the count, you can forget about having any success against him. That's in there. Vladimir Guerrero oh, Jr., that swing so reminiscent of his dad. Lots of pop. Fought off foul. That one is absolutely belted. This looks like extra bases. Now he turns and heads for second. The relay, not going to okay. get him. He's in there. Nice line drive to the full side, met it out front, but just stayed through it nice enough and whipped it into the outfield. So now Turner in on that right side. Hitless and four at bats yesterday. Swings through that one. Well, the best way to shake off yesterday's struggles is to get on the board early. They've got a guy in scoring position. They've got to find a way here to get him in. Ed Drummond, our umpire behind the plate in this one. Yeah, Boogie's a really fair umpire, both the pitchers and the hitters. So standard strike zone, he's consistent with it. And the great thing is you don't see players question the calls too much. So that's a good thing in this day and age. Chris, do players ever change their approach in meaningful ways based on who's umpiring, or is it good to just be aware of tendency? Now that's smack to right center. That's a base hit around third. He scores, and it's a one-run game. To second, but way too late, safe there. Well, he wasn't afraid to hit with two strikes. I think he choked up a little bit, maybe spread out, but he got the job done right there. Batter is George Springer. That's a strike. One one. Hammers that one, curling down the line and foul. Oh, good solid contact right there. Just a bit out in front of that fastball. Got to try to stay on that back side just a little bit longer and see if you can do some oh, damage. That's inside. inside just missed. And yeah, oh, that's, that's outside. Out. The count now two and two. Stays alive. One on, nobody out, a run in, bottom half of inning number two. Gets a piece and stays alive. Three. Swings through that one, it's a strikeout. Boog gets talked about a lot, but a good high fastball in a two-strike situation, it's just become such a problem for hitters in more recent years. With all of the emphasis by pitchers on developing that spin rate, having a good grip on the baseball, those high fastballs, they kind of look like to the hitter that they're rising, even though they're not, but they're not...
Now here that is it. Alejandro the Kirk. Kirk. Alejandro. Rizzo. He takes it himself to the bag, and that'll do it. But a run will score in the inning on this RBI double. And it's now a 2-1 ball game. Major League Baseball is on the show. Back now in Toronto, top half of the third inning. Anthony Rizzo steps to the plate. Barrios back to work. That one fouled off. You know, Boog, from time to time, players mix up their routine if things aren't going their way, and Rizzo is no exception. When he was in a slump in 2023, he changed his walk-up music to Taylor Swift. No bad blood there because it worked. He went four for four and hit his first home run in over a month. Now he even gave credit to Swift eight. after the game. That's Labor. what a good sinker's designed to do. Four. Get a guy to roll over a little bit, hit the ball on the ground, kill some worms while you're at it. Here comes Glaber Torres. And the first pitch misses for ball one. One down, base is empty. That misses the zone, and a count two and one. Swing and a miss as he was out front that time. Way inside gets out of the way. Gets a piece there. We'll do it again. Looking. Called strike three and a fastball up in the zone. Two outs, base is empty. Alex Verdugo Alex. stepping in now for the Yankees. Verdugo. He's 0 for 1. Backed Count off the plate oh. that time. Two outs, base is empty. One one. Nope. We got two balls, one strike. And oh. another ball. The right hander gives up the two out walk. Well, two out walks are never good, especially when you're trying to get back into now that bad. dugout. But he's still in a good spot. He's just got to refocus and deal with the bottom of this order. So, man aboard, and stepping in for the Yankees, Oswaldo Cabrera. Sharp grounder, that's through for a base hit. Throw in, holds the lead runner at second. Two on now with two away. And here's the catcher, Austin Wells. Now a screamer into the outfield. Marsha makes the play, and that is that. Yanks strand a pair. They lead it 2-1. As we go to the last of the third, and now it's Dalton Varsho. And that one pulled foul. And it's even up. That one, one way inside. Straighten him up a little bit. A line to kick the pitch. That Hit one missed. Three balls, one strike. 
This one ripped, but foul to the right. Well, he put good velocity in the head of the hitter. He's got to get it ready early and then change speeds. Keep him off balance. That's the goal. Foul ball, and it remains a full count. Spoils the two strike pitch, and he'll see another. And now the lefty on the ground. Rizzo. And he takes it himself him. for the out. Now batting. Center Here's Kiermeyer now. Kevin. Kiermeyer. That hey. one's in there on one. Man, I mean, nice job just presenting it to be better than it actually was. On the ground, right side. Two up, two oh. down. So up next for Toronto, Santiago Espinal. Oh, and ball one. That. So two balls and no strikes. Well, he looks more focused at the plate and working the count after that first at bat strikeout. And a good eye there. With two out and nobody on, you want to go right after this guy. He's the number two hitter, which means if he gets on, you've got some thunder coming up behind it. The Yankees up by a run here in the last half of the third. Got it by him for the K. One, two, three, go the Blue Jays, and they trail it here. Two to one. And welcome back to the ballpark. John Chompy with Chris Singleton and set to lead off the fourth, Trent Grisham. And the right hater back to work. Hard grounder into the outfield for a knock. So now back to the top of the order. I'm sure he feels really good about that one. Pretty tough for the infielders to do anything with that one. He pulled it hard into the outfield, and even when you keep it on the ground, it feels great when you hit a missile like that. Back to the top of the lineup, and next for New York, Anthony Volpe. Struck out on just three pitches last time. Bunting for a hit. Gets it to first. They handle the bunt and get the out. Well, there it looked like the batter was trying to bunt for a base hit, now and as he got thrown out, the runner advanced. One. So he's going to get credited with the sack Two. bunt. You know, there's this red-headed announcer that I work with sometimes that gets really angry when that happens. Juan Soto now. He's already homered here in this one. That one ripped right center field. This one's got a chance. Bangs off the wall. Coming home. He'll score. It's 3-1. Oh, here we are. Third time now through the order, and this is where we see the OPS Here's jump up. Manager Here's might have to go to the bullpen a little bit sooner than he anticipated. One out, runner at second. Aaron Judge at the plate. Jake Swing. Went around. That's strike oh, one. one. Well, in terms of hitting rocket home runs, Judge is near the top of that list. Only Giancarlo Stanton has hit more with greater exit velocity than Judge. Look out, though. Shohei is quickly climbing those charts. In the air, right field, and that is Springer. Makes the grab. Two down. Now that. The first and here is Anthony, Anthony Rizzo. Rizzo. And there's a rocket into the outfield. Soto rounds third, headed for the plate. He'll score easily. And they're up by three. Well, a swing like now that can help you come out of the struggle. We really saw the good. numbers coming into the ball cool. game. But all he's trying to do at this point is help his team win. Labor Torres up to hit. A strikeout and a walk. There's a strike. The pitch. Swung on, belted. Way back there. Pulls it in on the warning track. 
Two runs, three hits, no errors, and one left. And midway in the fourth, the Yankees four and the Blue Jays one. Great to have you with us here on Jackie Robinson Day. Bottom of the fourth, and now for the Jays, Bo Bichette. And first offering is fouled off. Well, these Jays showing great discipline at the plate, and patience definitely seems to be the name of their game in this one. He's only given up one run, but the starter's pitch count is starting to get up there, and that might be the best news yet for this offense. That's a base hit. I'd say a mistake pitch in an 0-2 count. Too good of a pitch to hit right there. You have to expand the zone. Keep that leadoff man off first base. Bichette on at first. Nobody out. In the air, right field. And there's one away. Justin Turner now. He doubled home a run in his first A.B. There's a swing and a drive. Way back there. And that one is out of here. Home run for Justin Turner. He pulls it in the air out to left center. His second of the year, it's 4-3. He only needed one swing to square it up. Not wasted any time in that at bat, Boog. Aggressive, and it paid off. Well, he went up there, oh, oh, looking to do damage. I think he had his sight set on that pitch. He went and got it and circled the bases. That's the Springer in the box with one away as he takes ball one. And that's down and away. Cortez. Maybe a little less aggressive on the mound right now after that home run, Chris. Yeah, it seems that way. You know, pitchers, they can come out, feel good, but then all of a sudden get touched up a little bit and throw, and it gets away. The battle. The hitter. One down. Now it's the DH. Just missed. And another Whoa, ball. Singy, we're celebrating Jackie Robinson today, and what an honor it is for these players to have the chance to wear his number 42. Wouldn't chase that time. Yeah, just an Perfect. iconic number, and to put that jersey on with four and two on the backside, it's got to be inspiring. These guys are honored Aye. and privileged to be able to go out there and play on a day like today. The pitch. Turned on, but that's foul down the third baseline. The Yanks leading by a run. We're here in the bottom of the fourth. Battling here as he fouls it away. He fouls it off. We'll do it again. Kicks and deals. And a swing and a miss down on strikes. He didn't make it easy for him on the mound, but they still get the strikeout. Now, and now the catcher comes up to him, Alejandro Kirk. And the first pitch misses for ball one. The next pitch misses, ball two. Blue Jays down a run here in game one of this three-game set. That's in there. And it's two and one. Run around the move. Strike in there. Throw safe. Fouls that off to the left, and we'll do it again. is lifted in the air sizes this one up and that is the third out of the inning the Jays get a pair on this homer it's now a 4-3 ball game back here at Rogers Center we go to the top of the fifth here's Alex Verdugo Barrios back to work and a foul ball 
I'm really impressed with this offense. They haven't been timid at the plate at all. They've been aggressive, and they're keeping the defense on its toes. So far, six hits on the first pitch alone. That Dives, but it kicks off his glove. No, and he there. beats it. He's safe. And up next for New York, Oswaldo Cabrera. On the ground is short, could be two. On a second, they get one. Not in time at first. It's a fielder's choice. Now batting. The catcher, Austin Wells. Here's the catcher, Austin Wells. Ground ball left side. Nice stop. Turner over to You're second out. to first. No, not in that. time. Great effort there. Good sinker low in the zone right there and produced exactly what he was looking for. Ball on the ground. Nice ground out. Now, that. now here I'm is kind of Trent Grisham. Great. Taken high in the Grisham. draft. He's had that top prospect label over him since he put on a professional uniform. But at some point, that starts to go away and you've got to produce at the big league level. And first offering is fouled off. Righty delivers on the ground right side and that chance handled to first Thanks. and he beats it everyone's safe. So the lineup flips over and the batter will be the shortstop Anthony Volpe one for two. Rolled softly, but that goes foul. If he can get through this one, put up a zero, this will help in his outings to come. You'll one. Ah. Squirts away a little bit. Oh, nice yeah. job behind the plate there. Movement in the bullpen. Tim Mesa, the southpaw, is throwing and getting that sinker dialed in. Richards also getting ready. And it hits the base. And that one finds its way through. Here's the throw. It's off the mark, and he scores. 5-3 now. Picks himself up at RBI. Couldn't get any air under it, but he smoked that ball back up the middle. Timing was just perfect. Got great wood on it, and there's just no chance for the infielders with how hard he hit it. Now the number two hitter, Juan Soto. And it may be a long shot, but a triple here will give him the cycle. First pitch misses. The Yankees trying to break this one open. And we're at the top of the fifth. Two outs. That oh. just misses. Now two and two. Well, he's not afraid to fall into a two-strike count. Knows the strike zone very well. So much so that I think umpires will look at him and determine whether it's a ball or strike if he swings or not. Squeezes it, and that'll do it. Well, they pick up one run on the RBI single. It's now a 5-3 ball game. You're and we're back. Now the left fielder, Dalton Varsho the pitch a swing and a miss and that's strike one all well, these Blue Jays simply put are producing a lot of quality swings they've hit seven line drives already and even though some of them have been for outs there's nothing wrong with delivering consistent hard contact that's almost always going to lead to positive results swings through that one ball two strikes down looking it's almost like he's telling the guys in the bullpen stand down I got this the center fielder Kevin Kiermaier here's Kevin Kiermaier pretty amazing going way back possibly the best center fielder yeah. I've ever seen pitch is in for a strike and it's 0-1 that's to third Cabrera Gathers oh. and throws to first. 
Home half of the fifth inning moving along two quick outs. Now that and that's for Toronto. Santiago Espino. Espino. And that clips the inside corner. And that's oh, off the inside edge. And now it's even one and one. Two down, nobody on. And that's another bolted. ball. That's a really good take right there. Slider down and in. Very difficult to get on the same plane and do anything with. He swings and fouls one off. And the 2-2. Liner, base hit. So a two-out knock keeps the inning alive. Showed some really nice patience in that at bat. Worked himself into a good count. Nice line drive to the pull side right there, but he didn't spin off of it. That's the key. You still have to extend through the baseball in order to hit a line drive like that. Late swing fouled off. Two quick outs, needed to get that third one, wasn't able to do it. Now you bring up the heart of this order. You gotta find a way to get it done right here. No ball, two strikes. Big stock center field. Throw stops the lead runner at second. Two on and two out. Just so sound in his mechanics. Hits against a firm front side. And the hands just continue to carry through the middle of the field. Fouled off. He was late. The Yanks leading by two. Last half of inning number five. Now a bullet to second base, but he's got it to end the inning. Blue Jays leave a pair. They're still down 5-3. We're back, and they make a change to start the sixth. The new pitcher, Trevor Richards. Just trying to keep this one close here, and this is where a bullpen can give their players a chance to fight back into the game. And a pitch. Judge Aye. at the plate now as he chases Four after that one. Well, you know this guy wants a pitch up, something that he can hit hard and drive over the wall, but you've got to set your sights down a little bit. You can't lose your discipline and go after a pitch that you just can't do anything Four with. One. That one missing inside. Check ah. swing. Did he go? Yes, he did. One ball, two strikes. Picks and misses. It's a strikeout. The bat. Now here's the, the Yankees cleanup hitter, Anthony, Anthony Rizzo. Rizzo. One for three. And there's a foul ball. Base is empty one away, and we're the top half of the sixth. Nope. Just okay. missed. Movement in the Blue Jays' bullpen. Tim Meza, the lefty, looks to be getting himself ready. The 1-1 one -one is fouled off. Base hit. So a man aboard now with one away. Around first, heading for two. And he'll pull into second safely. Absolutely hammered that baseball very loud coming off the bat. 107 was the exit velocity, and at that speed, it's going to be a great result more often than not. Here is Glaber Torres. Left field. Varsho sizing this one up. Two away down. Just pulled off of it a little bit right there. That front shoulder coming open instead of staying closed. If he does that, he's going to be able to go up the middle the other way with some authority instead of a fly out to left. That one ripped. And that should be extra bases. Around third. 
He scores. It's six to three. And he's in at second with a two out double. He was all over that yeah, one. Man. Pretty much a model swing on that one as he ripped it into the opposite field path. And I'm sure he's going to be watching that one back on video because that's the kind of swing you want to bottle. So many positives that led to that knock. Down the third baseman, Oswaldo Cabrera. That's hard hit on the line. He's got it. And that's the third out. Yankees strike for a run on the RBI double. It's now 6-3. It's Major League Baseball on the show. Back now for the bottom of the sixth. And there's a new pitcher on the mound. Tommy Canely. Still a lot of game left, and this game could go either way. So this is a big opportunity for him to get some important outs and try to help carry this lead into the later innings. The pitch. And there's a fly ball deep right field. That one's carrying. In one hops off the wall, should be extra bases. Oh, the throw is over his head. And he's going to get to second with nobody out. That's such a frustrating play for an outfielder. You know you should make this play, but you never really had a chance because of the bad angle. What should have been an out turned out to be a double. And it'll be George Springer to step to the plate. That one finds the zone. Going one. Right through there for a strike. All right, now, he may have not liked either of those first two pitches or agreed with the umpire's calls, but at this point... He's going to have to bear down and be ready to hit anything close to the zone. Man at second. In the air right field. Soto gets under it. He makes the grab. And there's one away. The bat. And now the DH. Niger. And he grounds one to the right side. And it finds its way through for a hit. They won't risk the send. Runners at the corners now with one away. Didn't take long yeah, to get a result for that at the bat. Pitch. Just a simple ground ball the other way that had eyes on it, man. Sometimes that's all you need to do. Just let the ball travel, put the ball in the play, and just hope it finds a hole. Alejandro Kirk now at the plate. Swing and a miss as he was out front. Oh, one's the count. With the tying run at the plate here in the bottom of the sixth. Hey. Next offering is in for a strike. Big pitch right here. He's going to try to make a pitch that's going to produce a strikeout or a ground ball double play. Up and in. Yeah, the count one and two. I don't think he was trying to miss by that much in an 0-2 count. Just tried to overthrow that pitch. Sit down on strikes. Fastball to letters froze him for strike three. Just locked him up right there up for the second the out, and that's an at bat he's Don't probably going to be thinking about for a little while. Didn't pull the trigger. Not how you want to go down in an RBI spot, so now you got to hope your teammate behind you can pick you up. Varsho can't hold up, and that's a strike. Right through there for a strike. Yankees up by three here in game one of this three-game set. Swing and a miss, and that is that. A couple of strikeouts with runners on. Sometimes you got to really bear. Welcome back. We're in the seventh. We have a new pitcher on the mound, Tim Mesa. And they felt it was time to bring on a left-handed reliever from the pen with the lefty hitter coming up. I think it's a good move. I know I never liked when opposing teams did that to me. Wells in the box here lets that one go ball for one, a ball. No well, on paper, it's favorable to have a fairly quick inning here with two of the three hitters he's set to face batting from the left side, same side he throws from. And a pitch. Hard ground ball base knock. Man aboard on the leadoff single. Here's the center fielder, Trent Grisham. Three for three with three singles. Swing and a ball hammered. Left field. Banks off the wall. Headed for the plate. 
Safe. Back to back base yeah, hits. Man. Showed off some really nice oppo pop with that swing and just couldn't get it over the fence. But I absolutely love everything about that approach and the mechanics right there. So the batting order turns over. Anthony Volpe stepping in now for the Yankees. First pitch doesn't find the zone. Up the middle. To first, and he beats it. Tough play up the middle, and everything needed to be right there. Feel that. Get a strong throw off to first base, and I think the speed going up the line had something to do with it as well. Up next. And now the right fielder, Juan Soto. And it was a homer back in the first inning that got his day started at the plate. Yeah, Boog, a two-run blast. His fans were just still getting into their seats here at the ballpark. So if you showed up late to this one, you missed out on a big moment early on. Ball, Ball one, no strikes. Count one the and skipper oh. calls down to the bullpen. He's expecting the guy to come in and get outs. So far, not getting what he was hoping Ball, for. That's and that's off the inside edge. And now 2-0. Oh. That one hammered center field back there. And that one is going to go. Another homer. His second home run of the game. And they boost their lead. It's 10-3. Singing, he's been red hot. Yeah, another big swing of the bat for him. Man, he is really seeing the ball well in this one. That one was a hanger, and pitchers typically don't get away with making a mistake like that. And right there, he made him pay. New pitcher now for the Jays, Mitch White. And with the big deficit on the scoreboard, he almost has to just put that out of his mind. Every outing matters for relievers and their numbers, but I think it's tough to get up for this type of appearance the same way you would for one in a close game. Here comes Aaron Judge. Crushed to right. This one's got a chance. Out of here. Home run. They go back to back. His seventh home run of the season, and they add a run. It's 11-3. That's their third home run of the game. They're having a lot of fun at the plate in this one. They've got the long ball working for them on autopilot. Welcome to the game. First pitch out of the bullpen, a tough one. And you know he's just trying to get one in there for a strike. And on the other side is a hitter. It's a great time to be aggressive and let it fly. It's not what they were looking for when they turned to him, but now he's got to find a way to reset. So now the Yankees cleanup hitter, Anthony Rizzo. No question about this one. It's out of here. His second of the year, it's 12-3. That's their fourth home run of the game. They can't stop, and they won't stop hitting home runs in this one, Boog. They're clearly feeding off of each other at the dish. Back to back to back home runs, and these guys look so dominant right now. A pitcher might want to check and see if he's tipping his pitches or not, but I tell you what, if this was basketball, that opposing team would call a timeout to try to slow down this offense. Glaber Torres up to the plate. 0 for 3 with two flyouts and a strikeout. This one in the air center field. He's got it, and there's one down. Now batting. Out of the bullpen Alex. for the Jays, Zach Pop. Well, they need someone to stop the bleed and keep the score right where it is. Seems like a tough task today with the way this lineup is swinging it. And a foul ball. <laughs> Bounce to the right side. Sneaks through. Base hit. So they get a man aboard with a one-out single. Oh, this has been a really nice game at the plate for him. He looks locked in. Just one of those seeing eye base hits through the infield. He just kind of rolled over on it a little bit, but sometimes those can find a hole and get you a knock. And now it's switch hitting third baseman Oswaldo Cabrera. 
Swing and a ball hit out towards left center field. And that'll fall for a base hit. Throw into third. He's in there. Clearly seeing the ball very well in this one. That ball right there landed in what they call a no man's land, meaning it's not really a spot on the field where you can expect anyone to get to it easily. I mean, it's a tough play going back for the shortstop, but also for the outfielders trying to come in. They've got to go one a long way as well. Wells, the next to hit, takes outside. Center. Kiermaier moving under it. And makes the grab. Runner tags for home. It's a safe fly as he comes across to score. And it's a double digit lead as they're up by 10. Man, there's a sack fly to bring home another run in this inning. These hitters are just piling it on. We're seeing some really quality at bats out of this team right now. Swing and a high fly ball left field. Makes the grab and that'll end the inning.